Hi, I'm Tracy Sofra and I work with career-minded professional women. And for too long, women have been told that they're either not good with numbers, they can't manage money, and ultimately, someone's gonna come and rescue them. Well, I'm here to dispel that myth once and for all. Today, I wanna to talk about the concept or the term called time. You know, time that we all magically are supposed to have an abundance of, but don't. So, what do I mean by time? Well, you know, we all have 24 hours in the day and some of us do really well with that time and some of us don't do so well. And from a personal level, if I talk about time from a personal level as a woman, we're so many things to so many people. We're mothers and we're wives and we're partners, we're colleagues and friends and sisters and and um, and and the list goes on and friends. So we have so many multiple roles as women these days. And what does that do? Well, that drains on our time. Yeah, we we are required by so many people, and I'm not sure that you know technology has actually helped us um, versus my mum who didn't have a dishwasher and, and dryer and all those sorts of things. The techo stuff that we all have in our daily lives that we take for granted has that bought me more time. I'm struggling with that one, I don't think so. And I'm one of those women that just try and jam pack as much as I can in a day, because there's so much to do. And it's almost like, you know when you've got that really, really wet towel and two people are on the end of that towel and they're wringing it as hard as they can to get every single drop out? That's kind of like me with time, I try and do that every day. But on a personal level, yeah, we all struggle with time and we all struggle trying to get the most important things done. One of the most important things in terms of time on a personal level is just to make sure that people are not hijacking that time and, and that you're creating boundaries around yourself to make sure that you do the things that matter. But time also is a global thing. And so what are the times that we're living in now? What does it feel like? Well, you know, if you listened to me yesterday, it has its ups and downs at the moment. Um, it's incredibly, well, uncharted times for us because this coronavirus stuff happens, you know, these pandemics happen once every 100 years and here we are. And I lived through the GFC and prayed and hoped that that sort of thing would never, or I would never have to live through that again and here I am. So unprecedented times in terms of the time that we're living in globally and how as human beings, we are all in the same boat, probably for the first time in history. I'm, I'm guessing that we are all um, in the same time globally. And then if I apply time to what I do every single day and the message that I, that I want to convey to every single person, because given the times that we're in, people are nervous. So it's so important to retain the long-term view of what it is that you want to achieve. And there's a, a, there's a saying in my world, um, I don't know if you've heard it, but I'm going to share with you. So time, we're talking about time. It's time in the market. It's not timing the market because no one can time the market. If we could time the market, I'd be streaming this from the Bahamas, wouldn't I? And I'd teach you all about how to time the market, but we can't. We can't time the market and we know that from stats and history, that every single time we have had a major dip, we have rebound even stronger. In 2007, the All Lords, which is the index where the Australian shares are traded, this is very general, was peaking at about 6,500 points. That's very, very high. And once the GFC hit in about mid, that was probably the average, in about mid-2008, it dropped to about 3,600 points. Now, in December of 2019, the All Lords were at about 7,100. Yesterday, it closed at 4.2. So what's my point here? My point here is this, that every single time there is a drop, we rebound and, we, and when we rebound and when we recover, it's called the recovery, the dip, and, and the gain, we create new highs. So what I'm saying is we need to remain invested and we need to review that in the light of that information, knowing what we know from history, knowing that nothing is ever doom and gloom forever, that we will come out of this. So when we talk about time in that context, 
We need to not try and time the market. We need to not give in to the, the, the fear and, and, um, and, and all the confusion that's going on around us. We need to stop the noise and we need to not sabotage our long-term hopes and dreams and goals and stay invested in the market. So time, yes, I grapple with it every day on a personal level. I am living in times of incredible uncertainty, fear and everything that goes with it. But as I mentioned yesterday, we are all leaders and we need to lead accordingly and we need to be not giving into emotion, but taking it from a more logical angle. And in my world, and I'm hoping it will be your world when you join me on my program, that we will be looking at not trying to time the market. No one can. It is time in the market. And never forget that we don't do what the masses do. We actually try and do the opposite. So with that said, I'm Tracy Sofra. I work with career-minded professional women. Make sure you like this page and please, this will turn on your notifications so you can hear me each day sharing my thoughts and wisdom with you. Hopefully you're getting something out of it. Also, make sure you register for my program that is coming out really, really soon. You'll get early access to this and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you and I just can't wait. Enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend and don't forget, Time is fleeting, make the most of it.